Monroe, Virginia, the Coast Artillery Board tests the wire thrower RL-37 T2. It is designed to carry a standard one-mile reel of field wire, W110 or W110B. by a single cylinder, five horsepower gasoline engine. speeds up to 30 miles per hour. A hand wheel controls the trajectory of the wire during the wire laying operation. The wire thrower can project wire to a height of 40 feet and as far as 75 feet on either side of the wire laying truck. now ready for use. The unit may also be used to recover wire at any speed up to 10 miles per hour. One twisted pair of field wires may be recovered from the rear or from either side of the vehicle. The hand wheel controls the reel feeding mechanism. The machine weighs approximately 600 pounds without the reel. At Fort Belvoir, Virginia, the United States Army's standard flat-top camouflage net is being erected. A wire framework is first constructed, wooden posts being used as supports. The rope net is carefully folded preparatory to being placed on the framework.
then placed on top of the framework. Cloth garlands about five feet long are painted to match the various colors of the surrounding terrain. These are woven into the net with a length of about two feet hanging down on each end. Note the appearance from above. An embrasure is provided at one point in the net. This embrasure is opened as shown here when an artillery piece is to be fired. Also at Fort Belvoir, an experimental tilt-type semi-trailer is demonstrated. It is designed for transportation of a medium tractor. The truck which furnishes the motive power for the trailer is of standard type. Wooden blocks are used here only because this particular tractor is somewhat defective and its tracks cannot catch the rear end of the trailer. Normally, blocks are unnecessary. The operator loosens the load binder cables which are fastened to a ratchet pulley. the tilt latch, then pulls the hydraulic tilting lever. The tractor is then driven onto the trailer. The tractor is tied down with chains and the load binder cables. The entire unit moves over broken ground. Note the knee action of the rear bogies of the trailer. a 25-ton Ponton Bridge. 